Begin the programming of the ProSonic flow meter by pushing the E button. This button is used to initiate the programming sequence and later for confirming selections. The plus and minus buttons are used to access the various selection options. After entering into programming, select Quick Setup or Sensor Setup. Text displayed will depend on the ProSonic flow device employed. After entering the setup routine, confirm again that you wish to enter the sensor setup. The first programming change requires an access code for which the device model number is the default. Then enter the liquid being measured. Various options are available. If your particular liquid is not listed, simply choose the option Others. The temperature for normal operations is then to be entered. If temperature varies during operations, enter an average temperature value. The sound velocity of the liquid is then displayed for the normal operating temperature. If you have chosen Others earlier, you will need to enter the liquid sound velocity. The material of the pipe in which the liquid is being conveyed should then be entered. Select the appropriate material. The sound velocity of the pipe is then displayed. You now have the choice of entering either the outer pipe circumference or outer pipe diameter. After entering one of the values, the other value is automatically calculated. The outer pipe diameter can often be found printed on the pipe along with the pipe wall thickness or in a PID control drawing of the system or using a piping reference book. If the pipe diameter cannot be found, we suggest measuring the circumference of the pipe and entering that value. Now enter the pipe wall thickness. If this is unknown, it is possible to estimate the value. If a lined pipe is being used, the material of the liner will need to be entered along with the thickness of the liner. If the pipe is not lined, simply choose None. The sensor type is required. This can be found printed on the sensor itself. The transmitter will prompt the number of traverses. The number of traverses determines if the sensors are to be mounted on opposite sides of the pipe in a one-traverse installation or on the same side of the pipe in a two-traverse installation. For pipes smaller than 80 millimeters, one traverse is suggested. For pipes in the size range of 80 millimeters to 600 millimeters, two traverse installation is suggested. And for pipes larger than 600 millimeters, one traverse is suggested. The length of the sensor cable will now need to be entered. Now all the parameters for installation have been programmed into the transmitter and the mechanical installation can begin.